What's going on, Faded Culture? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. My are okay? Yeah. Okay. Right. What's going on, Faded Culture? I'm Adrian Barone. We're back with another tutorial. Today we got my boy John here on the chair. We're gonna be running down the steps on how to do a two with a zero. Very simple haircut for y'all. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and let's jump right into it. Matter of fact, come, come back in. Just, yeah. to, just to get this clarified once and for all, there is two of us. I am Adrian. Camera guy, director. And, and this is Sergio, my brother. All right, guys, again, thank y'all for tuning in to another tutorial. We got the simple haircut of a zero with a two on top. This haircut is perfect for the summer. And as usual, all the steps are in the description down below. We're going to start by oiling our clippers. Just add a drop or two on each side and one in the middle. This is very essential. I know I haven't yet spoke of this in the past. And to begin the actual haircut, we're going to comb the hair in its neutral position. Make sure that you are going according to the cowlick. And with the number two lever completely closed, we're going to start removing the hair. Make sure you are running the clipper against the grain. And once you remove it all, you want to even come in different directions like across the grain just to make sure that we get a complete even buzz cut on top. And while I'm at it, I start removing some of the bulk from the sides. That way we can see our guidelines a lot easier. And dust off your client guys, it's always better to work with a clean canvas. So coming from the side of the hairline, we're going to meet at that temple peak area and we're going to run our first skyline just coming straight back from that temple peak area. Since this is not a drop fade, just make sure that you are coming straight back. As you can see, I already laid down the first line, but I still come back and tune in that guideline just to make it a lot tighter and a lot neater. And one thing I want to point out is when you approach the back, you can either go all around and continue that guideline, or you can start from that front temple peak area and connect it towards the back. I found that when I first started cutting hair and I would come all around with one guideline, I would either end up too high or too low. So it's a good tip to start from both temple peak areas and connect them in the back if you're pretty new to this. And it's always a good idea to view your client from the front to make sure that your guidelines align. Now with the lever completely open, we're going to make our second guideline. Run it parallel to the one underneath and we're going to take it up about an inch or so. Make sure that you're soft and easy with these guidelines, that you're not digging the clipper too in. So when it's time to come back and erase these guidelines, it'll be very easy. Now with my number one guard lever completely open, we're going to continue that process and create our third guideline. It's going to be the same thing. We're going to come up about an inch or so. Just make sure that you're running it parallel to the one underneath. And after every couple strokes, I think it's important that you brush the canvas off just to make sure that your guidelines are as crisp as you want them or intend them to be. And now with my number two guard lever completely closed, which is what we did at the top length, I'm gonna just make sure that all the parietal ridge and the crown area are cleaned up as much as possible. That way we can begin fading down. So by now you should have three guidelines. The first one that we created with the zero, the second that we created with the lever completely open, and the third that we created with the number one guard lever completely open. We're gonna start with that top one and work our way down. Using my one and a half guard, I'm going to close the lever just slightly, putting it in what I like to call a three-fourths position. It's basically somewhere in between halfway and fully open. Using mainly the corners of the clipper, I'm going to attack that top guideline. And if you don't have these one and a half and half guards, I highly suggest you do guys. They're fairly cheap and they're going to save you a whole lot of time and headaches. Now for the second guideline coming down, we're going to use the half guard and we're going to leave the lever in that same three-fourths position. Do not touch the lever. 
and again using mainly the corners of the clipper we're going to attack that guy line this guy line is going to leave a faint line right above it like you see here but do not take this step any higher as we will come back right now with the number one guard and remove that line So like I mentioned, now we're going to use a number one guard, but we're going to leave the lever in the same three-fourths position, and we're going to attack that faint line that the half guard created. And take your time with all of this, guys. Like I mentioned before, all my haircuts take me about 45 to 60 minutes. So by this point you should have one guideline left which is the one that we created with the zero. We're going to work in sections to attack this guideline starting with the lever completely closed. Then we're going to put the lever halfway and finally we're going to open the lever completely. So we're going to take each of those three notches up just slightly one at a time. So here I'm starting with the lever closed using mainly again just the corners of my clipper taking it up just a bit. Second, putting it halfway. Again, repeat that same process. Take it up just a bit, about a quarter inch or so. And finally, open it up completely and finish the fade. And notice how I angle my clipper extremely using just maybe that last one or two teeth to get in those really tighter areas. And I do that just to ensure that I don't take the fade up any higher. And for the back side, I break it down into two smaller sections. So I'm going to focus on this back left side. Again, starting with the lever closed. I'm going to repeat that three step process. Then I put it halfway. And finally, I open it up completely. And I'm pretty much done with this back left side. And I repeat that same three step process on the other side. And the reason I break the back side down into two smaller sections is because we all know that the back side could be very tedious. So, in my opinion, it takes the most attention to detail for the back side to make sure that everything looks good. And finally that right side. And I just wanted to mention guys that all the tools that we use are in the description down below and shout out and thank you to everybody who's been buying our merch and supporting us that way. Now I'm just going to use my trimmers to remove the rest of the bottom hair. And this is not a bald fade but we are gonna taper out the sideburns and neckline with the electric shaver just to make it look that much better in my opinion. And for some, they would have just been done right there with the Zub Zero on the sides, but I think it's important to go the extra mile as our clients do appreciate it. So that's why I am tapering out the sideburn area and the neckline. And he liked the length of his facial hair, but I'm going to just go ahead and clean up those hairs that are touching his lip. As for the edge up, as usual, we start in the middle and work our way to each side. 
and before we start on the other side i think it's important that you kind of recalibrate and start from the middle again then approach the opposite corner and this video guys is sponsored by our buddies at easy blade they have amazing products guys which i am using for the remainder of this video as you'll see i was really impressed with their blade quality it's very good very sharp and this blade holder is very lightweight very efficient as y'all can see i personally like my blades exposed i don't know how y'all do them do y'all tuck them all the way in or do y'all leave some of the blade exposed guys let me know down in the comments below and a quick tip i have is to damp the skin with water before applying the shave gel here i'm using the shave gel by easy blade which smells amazing guys again the link to all these products will be in the description down below feel free to check them out when it comes to doing my razor work i usually start by shaving with the grain and then run it back by shaving against the grain make sure that you are using your opposite hand to stretch the skin just to ensure a smoother shave And again, just to go that extra mile, we're gonna line it up around the ear. I know a lot of people think it's not necessary to do this when they use like a zero or sub zero on the sides, but I think it just makes the haircut look that much better. And even though the hair is short on top, I do apply some type of product most of the time. It just adds a little bit more texture guys it brings out the fade i'm applying a little bit of semi-permanent hair dye here and yes i do dilute mine with half water and then just do any touch of work and here's the before in case y'all forgot and here's the after guys a number two on top with a zero on the sides i hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial i hope y'all learned something new let us know down in the comments below which i would like for us to do next as usual thank y'all so much for tuning in till next time guys peace